Hello. Today we are talking about the FDL. But what for you may ask. Why? To make a proper build video for it of course. But you may also be asking, Jazzard, there are already build videos out there, why make one more? The answer is simple. Because I can. Not too long ago I looked up elite dangerous PvP builds on the YouTubes, and it came up with some, not so favorable results for the most part. In one video I saw a man recommend a half engineered FDL, and then showcased a clip in which he was doing PvE in a corvette. Bruh. That just made my head hurty a little bitty. So now here I am, making a proper build guide for the FDL. This guide will be following a single build for now, the build that is considered to be the current meter as of 2020 to 2021. You are open to make changes of course, but this is the build I recommend you follow. There are variations of this build, where a single module is a little different, but the base idea is the build I will be showing you here. Build links will be in the description, however at the time of making this video, Coriolis short links are down. Though I will update them when possible, and will also include some EDSY links. This video is the first in a series of guides, that I will be making, and is also the first of the FDL guides. The next ones will cover some flying, builds, and other things of the sort. And before I start this video, let me touch up on the one question most of you will be thinking at the start of this, but why do I have to use the FDL? Because it is the only way, to improve and properly compete. You can of course fly other ships, but the FDL is considered the best for a reason. Not because it is op, but because it has the most unique flight model of all the medium class ships. Here, we will be taking a look at the build, and at each section I will make a small note for you to have. First section, the weapons. You are going to want to go with a classic setup of 3 plasma accelerators and 2 rail guns. For the plasma accelerators, you are going to want to make all 3 efficient. You are going to want to make the experimental effect on the huge, and one of the medium plasma accelerators thermal condit, while leaving one open for target lock breaker. Thermal Condit offers a 60% damage buff to your weapon when exceeding 100% heat. Stupid yes, but that's the hand that we were dealt in Braben's drug fueled rage of game balancing. Mm. Next, the rail guns. You will want to engineer these both for long range. Making one feedback cascade, and one super penetrator. Commander Has Mango has an excellent video talking about rail guns on his channel, and it will be linked in the description. But for right now, the short of it is that, feedback cascade will cancel up to 90% of a shield cell bank, while super penetrator makes the job of destroying modules much easier. You can put these on whatever side of the ship you like. Some people put them on the left side, some on the right. Some people even centerline them. But for me, I put them on the right side. It's all personal preference. Next, the utility mounts. On here, you're going to want shield boosters. A good number of them. Most people do 5, some do 4. It depends on if you want to use chaff. In this meter, thermal condit makes it easier to outpace gimbals and DPS, so it is much less common. Anyway, back to the shield boosters. The general rule is one thermal resistant, one resistance augmented, and the rest is heavy duty. And last but not least, a heatsink. As a side note, some people will opt for an extra heavy duty shield booster in place of a resistance augmented. I wouldn't recommend it most of the time, but sometimes it can be pretty useful. Again, some personal preference. Now, for the core internals. This is all pretty standard. Everything A rated except for the sensors and life support. For this build, I would recommend keeping the lightweight alloys on it. This is for the mass. You'll want to engineer it for grade 5 heavy duty with deep plating. Heavy duty multiplies the stock mass of a module and increases it with each grade. But since lightweight alloys have a stock mass of 0, it stays 0. Next, the power plant. This you will want to mod for grade 4 overcharged with thermal spread. Since grade 3 would be too low for the 5 booster setup, and grade 5 would be a waste of materials. Next, the thrusters. These are no different from any other build. 
Grade 5 dirty drives with drag drives. Next, the frame shift drive. You know what to do with this. Grade 5 increase strange with mass manager. Next, life support. You can leave this unengineered if you like, though if you do feel like engineering it, lightweight would be the best option. I stopped at grade 4 as that is the highest grade available in the bubble. Next, the power distributor. This is always going to be charge enhanced with super conduits. No question. Lastly, the sensors. Much like with the life support, you can leave this unengineered. However, unlike the life support, the best engineering here would be long range. As long range will help you to target a cold target sooner. A very nice quality of life modifications. And now last but not least, the optional internals. Here, you will put a class 5 prismatic that is engineered with reinforced and high cap. This is always the case with a prismatic shield. Next, two class 4, A rated shield cell banks. These can be either specialized or rapid charge. I would suggest rapid charge as it lowers the window in which you can be cancelled. You can get up to grade 3 in the bubble and grade 4 in Colonia. The experimental on both of these will be recycling cell. Next, two hull reinforcement packages. A class 2D and 1D. Both engineered for grade 5 heavy duty and deep plating. Lastly, an interdictor. Because like any pvp -er, you will be looking for fights. Most of your fights will be engaged by pulling someone from super cruise. This can be left at 1D. You can engineer it as well for a wider capture arc, or even a longer range, though I personally haven't bothered with it. Thank you for watching. As I mentioned earlier, this video is the first in a series of build guides I will potentially be doing more of in the future. If you have any suggestions feel free to put them in the comments. Be sure to check the description to find links to the channels of all the amazing individuals who helped me with this video. If you would like to contact me on discord my tag will be located down there as well. 07 commanders, 